Jonathan Holmes here from Destructo.com. I'm here with Tyrone Rodriguez of Nicholas Fame, and we're checking out Cave Story 3D and Cave Story DSi for some, some comparison shots. This game looks so much better in person than it does on the internet. I blame the internet for any of the negative comments you may have gotten about this game because it looks fantastic. Uh, you've got the 3DS version with the 2D sprite, and you've got yeah, I mean, the, the difference is uncanny. Oh, we're both locked. We're both locked. <laughs> so we can go to the... We can go to the... Um, All right, I'm going to try to race you. Oh, I'm... We can go to the... We can go to the cage over here. So you got... You worked really hard to get the geometry and, like, the, the distances the same in 3D right. as the original, but there's some kind of intentional differences I noticed, too. Yeah, for instance, right now, when you get close to Yamashita Farm right here, you're going to see that the camera, if you don't go in, you're going to notice two things. First of all, the camera actually zooms in on quotes, so you can kind of oh. see all the pretty flowers. There's light there. Sure. When, when I have to go into Yamashita Farm, I actually have to physically push down here. If you just keep going to the right, bam. So like it makes it feel more natural as if you're just slowly transitioning into there. So now you're inside the farm. You can kind of see side by side. And that was one of the changes that we wanted to do. And we talked to Daisuke and said, hey, is this cool? And he's like, oh, that's a lot better. I like, I actually like that. So him and I go back and forth on a lot of details. And he'll say, oh, can you change this? Or can you do this? And if we want to do something, we'll always approach him about it and say, hey, what do you think of this? And generally, we try to make decisions that make the game a little bit better. Um, not that it wasn't already good, but OK, so we're going to 3DS and we're going into 3D. So there's conscious decisions that we have to make, such as adding a camera system where it's cool that it zooms into Yamashita Farm. Like, it adds a little bit of an effect. So you get to see, oh, where is this magical place that I'm going into? Right, 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 right. beautiful. And he's, uh, you call him Dice Cave. Maybe not everyone knows. That's Pixel, Pixel. That's Pixel. the creator of Cave Story. Right, right. So I, I prefer to call people in the real world by their real names. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, everybody loves calling him Pixel. So we, we uh, constantly go back and forth with Pixel. We ask him, hey, what about this or what about this? Uh, an example would be in First Caves. He said, hey, uh, I'd like to see the spikes. They don't stand in out enough, and I want to make sure that, that new players, they aren't freaked out by these spikes. So um, I don't want them to hit them up accidentally. So we actually brighten them up and made more more red. They're still equally deadly, but now they're really bright. Huh. So uh, every step of the process, he's been involved. Yeah, it's his game. It's his creation. He's the, he's the mastermind behind it, so we want to make sure he's happy. Because theoretically, if he's happy, then fans should be happy, right? Right. That's right. Yeah. The, the fans need to be loyal to him and understand. I get mad when those fans get mad at you because they don't understand you're just another fan. Right, I'm just who another fan who's very lucky. Right, right, right. You're just the luckiest fan, pretty much. The NPCs, the main character, the enemies, literally everything, even the props, they actually become 2D sprites. Right, right, right. So then you'll be able to go, but the world stays 3D, so it's kind of this really unique and underused effect similar to Paper Mario. Right, right. So now if I go into, for instance, if I, if I go into Egg Corridor and I let you play, you're going to see that, that all the enemies, the behemoth, the critters and everything, um, and main character included, they're all 2D sprites. They're actually lit by the real world in, yeah, in real time. They're technically, like, uh, they have geometry right, as objects, right. but they're just uh, two-dimensional objects with right. geometry. Like it's it's uh, in development, you call them cards or billboards, whatever, and it's just like a it's just like a one polygon with a with a sprite on top of it. So. Like Parappa. Like yeah. Um, how close would you say the game is to being finished? Uh, it's probably in its current state, probably I would say 80, 85 percent right now. So uh, you're you're seeing it still in development, uh, and there's still things to adjust and tune. We're really trying to make sure that. It's just as good as it could possibly be. Sure, sure, sure. And how long have you been working on it so far? We started working on it uh, at the tail end of last year, so it actually hasn't been that much of a de development cycle compared to, to the WiiWare one where people were waiting for a year or so. It's, it's, this is a really rapid process, so we, we, we perfected being able to develop quickly and, and understand what we're doing with Cave Story. We, we've worked on it enough and worked with Daisuke enough that we, we know what we need to do to, to try to make this stuff work. Sure, sure, sure. Any hints you can give me about what that uh, special Miss America secret might be? Um, I don't know. I, I think if I gave you a hint, maybe penguins would come kill me if I <laughs> said, said anything. So, I, oops. <laughs> That could still mean so many things. You could play as penguins, you could kill penguins, I know. you could look at penguins. And when there's a happy feet game here somewhere roaming around, so maybe maybe those penguins will come and kill me. Those are scary too because they're like photorealistic penguins. Yeah, they're terrifying. Don't do that in this game, please. I died, by the way. I'm terrible at this. Do you want me to get you there? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. okay. You probably wrap it up. Okay. Oh, Tyrone, thank you so much. I really look forward to playing more of this game. Maybe I can off camera just take this from you for a little while and give it back to you in a couple of weeks. 
Yeah, I'm sure Nintendo wouldn't mind that <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, thanks everybody for watching. See you soon.